Hi everybody, Tex-Mex here. Thanks for joining me for another video. Today we're going to take a look at CCI shot shells, specifically the 38 Special 357 Magnum varieties. I've already done a couple of videos on CCI shot shells. Um, there was the North American Arms Mini Revolver video that I shot 22 Magnum ones out of it. And then I did a video specifically on 22 Long Rifle uh, CCI shot shells. That, they ended up being a lot more effective than I expected them to. Now here are the 357 Magnum 38 Special variety. Uh, in, in truth, I use the 22 Magnum the most, just because typically at this point when I'm hiking, if, I, if I'm worried about snakes, uh, I tend to keep that little North American Arms mini revolver with me because it's just small and I can keep it in my pocket. But many times, especially in South Texas, when I've hunted around there and you're tracking deer or other things in, in the South Texas brush, it, there's a lot of rattlesnakes. I mean, there's a lot of snakes in Central Texas, and in Central Texas, we actually have coral snakes as well. But South Texas is just a bastion of rattlesnakes. You can't throw a rock without hitting a rattlesnake. So uh, if you're going through a thick brush or tall grass, I would typically have a snub nose revolver with some uh, 38 Special uh, shot shells in them. And I've got an old box and a new box here. Uh, it says it's 100 grains of number, uh, number 9 shot. And, uh, well, actually the older one says it's a, a quarter ounce of number 9 shot. Now, I'd, my math isn't great, but I think a quarter ounce is a little over 100 grains. But maybe they either put less shot in the new ones, or they just decided to round off the number to make it easier to print. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, um, let's take one of these out of here, just so you can see it a little closer on the camera. Um, just like the other CCI shot shells, they have a little uh, blue capsule that has all the shot inside of it. And... Um, some people are worried about the shot ruining the inside of your barrel. You, you really don't have to worry about it. There's almost no way that this plastic and or lead shot is going to scratch or do anything to, uh, you know, a steel barrel. Now, potentially, I guess you could start getting some lead residue, uh, but other than that, I, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Um, I've always expected that these uh, are obviously traveling faster and, and you have a larger amount of them uh, when you're shooting the 38 special uh, version versus the 22 magnum version but uh, I've never really patterned these so that's what this video is about we're going to head out to the to the range uh, shoot some of these uh, at different distances onto targets maybe shoot a piece of fruit or something see how well they penetrate and we'll try it out of two different pistols now uh, like I said when I would carry this uh, I almost exclusively would carry it inside of a, a snub nose revolver like this one here. Uh, but I also have this 4-inch Smith & Wesson that uh, we're going to test it out of. I'm not sure how they do. I think, uh, you know, my brain that, that shoots the shotguns a lot wants to tell me that the longer barrel is going to keep the group tighter. But uh, because of the capsule, you also run the risk of uh, the capsule starting to spin or the shot starting to spin as it spends more time in the rifled barrel. So it's possible that the uh, grouping might be better out of the snub nose, but I, I'm not sure. That's why we're doing this video. Uh, but anyway, uh, I guess enough of me yapping. Let's head out to the property and uh, put some uh, lead shot downrange. So here we are. We're going to try the snub nose first. We're at about 15 feet, which is typically the distances I would use this shot shell on a critter or a snake or something of that sort. So let's see how it patterns. And now the same distance. Let's try it with the four inch barrel. See if we get a tighter group. As you can see here from 15 feet, the groups are not that great. Although those pellets have a lot of power in them, uh, they're pretty spread out. I mean, if you're shooting at a larger animal, which you probably shouldn't be with <laughs> CCI shot shells, uh, you'd certainly get a few on target, but not great. And uh, that big hole right there, that must be the little uh, plastic capsule that, that has some of the shot in it. And I'm assuming there were still some pellets in it that gave it as enough uh, uh, energy to make that perfect little hole there. So I expect that the rifling is, is hurting it um, because really it looks like the group's tighter out of the snub nose, which means out of the snub nose, you're going to get a slightly better group uh, just because it's not spinning the shot as much before it leaves the barrel. 
But I'm gonna get a little bit closer. Let's try this again, but uh, let's do it from about uh, maybe seven feet. Here we are again at the target. Gonna try the snub nose first. It's about seven feet. And now the Smith & Wesson 4-inch. Here we are at the target, and honestly, I'm a little disappointed. I really thought we would get better patterns uh, from the 38 Special 357 CCI shot shells. Um, on this one, you can see where the, where the little cap flew through here, and this one flew through here. I mean, we've got... A good amount of pellets in the center ring here two four six eight ten eleven and three touching the red and <laughs> here unfortunately none so of uh, as far as whether the snub nose or the four inch would be better um because of the rifling normally you think because of uh, shotguns that the longer the barrel the tighter the group but because of the rifling the shorter the barrel seems to have a slightly better group if you're using this for uh you know snake control or something like that at probably distances between you know five and seven feet um, and the longer the barrel it seems that this little donut kind of shape there makes me think that it's starting to spin and the pellets are just widening up very very quickly so honestly if you look at my videos with the North American arms mini revolvers and the 22 long rifle shot shells those seem to do a lot better although obviously these have a lot more energy these pellets are going to be traveling a lot faster um, and with a lot more power I and mean, it's not going to help if you don't get many on the target okay here we are out ready to shoot at an apple i realize now i probably should have bought a red apple because it's sort of hard to see this green apple uh, we're going to use the tara snubby we're at uh, about 15 feet and see how these shot shells do on the apple Well, as you can see here, we've given time for our apple to brown up a bit. It's easier to see all those uh, little uh, pellet holes. And uh, this is where I shot it on top of this log. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's a bunch of little scrape marks for, for all the pellets. Uh, obviously, I was shooting at a down angle, so a bunch of them scraped around this log. Let's go ahead and cut this guy. We'll cut it in the core spot. Oh, there we go. And let's see here. Yeah, quite a few pellets. They traveled through. So, you know, for an apple-sized uh, target at, what was that, about 15 feet, still a lot of pellets. And they went all the way through the apple. So uh, not as many pellets as I think uh, when I shot with the 22 long rifle, but obviously these have a lot more power. They uh, went all the way through, even through the core. So... So certainly effective, just not as effective as I thought it was going to be. It was a, a fun shoot, not necessarily what I thought was going to be the uh, results, but that's why we're doing these tests. And thank you again for joining me. Y'all be safe and see you in the next video.